Right then, with Alan Boda, who's doing one of those things, a rare thing, a demonstration in the main shopping street outside of JT. What, tell us briefly what's it all about. Um, for the fourth month in a row, um, JT have failed to pay us. Some, some guys have been paid um, a small amount, uh, some haven't been paid at all. So we're here to. to are you employees of JT or a subcontract or a contract? What are we, you? We are. Uh, we work for a direct subsidiary of Jones Telecom on the JT payroll. Is that a Jersey registered company or it entity? Is, yes, it is. A, it is a Jersey registered company. How many people are involved in the dispute? Good question. 30, 35. Um, numbers unknown yet. So some of the guys haven't actually approached me to say we're owed money. Um, and as we can see from the window behind, the usual thing. It's Christmas. Presumably your blokes are going without their, their money, are they? I can, all I can say is it'd be nice to put food on the table for Christmas, let alone presents. The trade unions here, most of your guys, union yeah, members? Yeah, we, we, we've got uh, Unite involved simply for the political weight. Where we, we as, as, a, as an entity of just the engineers, we don't have uh, the, the power to, to get anything done. Um, however, with the trade union behind us, we can, we can actively... Um, why, why do the company say they're not paying you? What, what's their problem? They haven't given us a reason so far. They, 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 they seem to stipulate that the engineers getting their paperwork wrong and their timesheets wrong. However, if you look at 30 guys, I doubt highly 30 people can get their timesheets and paperwork wrong. So that is our method of payment. It's proven as of last month that we, 95% of us anyway, got timesheets right and paperwork correct. I mean, there are rules about pay, uh, paying people. They're supposed to be paid through have wage slips and all the rest of it. Yes. I mean, that, that shouldn't be too difficult to enforce in law, should it? Exactly. If, if this is, or w when and if this reaches court, um, I'm, I'm fairly certain what the outcome would be. Okay, what sorts of sums of money are involved for individuals? Minimum of two, three thousand pounds. Really? So each. Substantial money. Yes, it's, it's, it's not the sort of money you'd spend on the pub on a Friday night. The JT line, what's their official line on it? That, we haven't heard anything about Have they yet. not spoken to you, no. not asked to speak to you, they haven't no. come out today into the. Nothing at all. In, with a bit of festive cheer? Oh, no, no, no mince pies, no, no mulled wine, nothing. I uh, see so you've got a couple of political representatives here today. How many states members have shown an interest? So far we've had uh, four states members um, who actively taken part. We've uh, Montford Tadier for one, Jeff Southern San Mesic, part of Reform Jersey, uh, and Simon Bree, who's, who's my local deputy. Ch who's, Chief Minister have been popping along? Not, not yet. Uh, however, I'm, I'm aware that the Chief Minister and uh, Alan McLean, the Treasury Minister, have been informed, yet they choose to do nothing. Well, anything else you want to tell us? That's it. Thanks for your time. Thank you.